Hey everybody, what is up and welcome to Rock Gamer and I want to show you guys today a full band expert chart preview of the Reflex by Duran Duran. This song has been announced as DLC down the road at some point in time, but the bigger news this week was that if you pre-order Rock Band 4 and you're a PlayStation Plus member, um, if you do it through the PlayStation Store, you'll get 10 free songs, one of which is the Reflex. I'm going to have a chart preview for Cowboys from Hell as well. I'm not sure if that chart preview for Cowboys from Hell is from the exact same version used in Rock Band 4. Uh, because I know they're using a live version, so we'll see. But uh, this gives you an idea of what the song could potentially look like. This in no way represents the final version or final chart of the song. This was actually a custom created by the Customs creators. It was released on, on one of their Friday releases they do every week. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's I, about time we got the song. You know, we've got, I think, three or four Duran Duran songs in Rock Band already. And it was kind of strange the song never made it. I wasn't a big fan of Girls on Film or Rio. I thought Hungry Like a Wolf was a good pick for Rock Band 2. We also saw it in Band Hero, I believe. But I think the thing I'm really disappointed with is that people like me who paid $250 US for the band bundle, or $300 Canadian, you know, we only get 30 free songs, most of which we already own. Like a lot of those songs I already have because... I bought Rock Band 2 and got the 20 free song download, or because I bought Rock Band 1 and it was one of the extra harmonic songs they included. But, you know, I don't get any of these 10 free songs, and I think that kind of sucks. And even the Amazon songs are for people who only pre ordered off Amazon. Like, it's important to note, though, that, you know, these songs they announced um, will be available as DLC at some point in time. And by the wording that Harmonix has sort of used on their Twitter feed when talking about Xbox One pre orders, which aren't available yet for the standalone game. Uh, it sounds like the Xbox One may also have some like exclusive pre-orders as well, um, but we'll have to wait and see if that's true or not. But, you know, I, I have played this song on drums, so I'll give you guys my take on it. You know, these kinds of songs with the disco beats, um, especially where there's like rest in the middle or you're not playing any hi-hat for certain sections of the song, it makes it a lot harder than it looks. I mean, these kinds of songs definitely screw me up, especially when you're playing pro drums and you're playing open hi-hat as well. But if you guys stay tuned... Uh, probably in the next couple days, I'll be having a video uh, preview of Pantera's Cowboys from Hell. Uh, that, to me, is probably one of the songs I'm really happy we're going to be seeing. Um, it's kind of surprising considering the amount of Pantera we've had released for Rock Band already, and we haven't really seen that song yet. And if you guys do download Customs, I'll let you guys know that there are a ton of Pantera Customs uh, available from the Customs creators. It seemed like every week when they were first releasing DLC that, you know, they'd have a Pantera song thrown in. So if you guys are a fan of the band and you do use Customs, I recommend you guys go check those out. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to let the chart preview play for the rest of the video. And if you guys want to stay up to date on the latest Rock Band 4, Guitar Hero Live, and Amplitude News, be sure to click the subscribe button. Take care.